Tommy De Paula by Eric Braun and consulting editor Gail Sanders Smith, PhD. Nineteen thirty four on the timeline, Tommy De Paula was born. Early years. Tommy De Paula was born in Connecticut in 1934. Tommy's mother read to him. When Tommy was four, he knew he wanted to write and draw. This is Tommy's hometown, Meridian, Connecticut in 1934. In 1952, he goes to art school. Tommy drew lots of pictures as he grew up. He graduated from high school in 1952. He went to art school in New York, and that was Pratt Art Institute in New York where Tommy Pala went to art school. Tommy went to the Museum of Modern Art whenever he could. He looked at the paintings to learn more about art. The Museum of Modern Art, New York. Visitors look at art by Ben Sahan, a famous artist who Tommy liked. First jobs. Tommy became an art teacher after college. In 1965, he drew pictures for a science book. It was his first job as a book illustrator. This is Newton College in Massachusetts, where Tommy worked as an art teacher. Tommy's books. The first book Tommy wrote and illustrated was The Wonderful Dragon of Timlin. He made more books in the next few years. This is Tommy painting a picture in his studio. Tommy made a book called Nana Upstairs and Nana Downstairs. Children enjoy this book about Tommy's grandmothers. Tommy kept teaching art. He kept writing and illustrating books. Kids love his books. Adults do too. Tommy makes fun books. Bonjour, Mr. Satie is about a traveling cat. Streganona is about an old woman and a magic pot. And this picture is Tommy with a large picture from Bonjour, Mr. Satie. In 1991. Tommy has illustrated more than 200 books. He has won many awards. Tommy plans to keep making books for a long time. And I believe he continued to make books up until his death, which was just a few weeks ago. Tommy DePala. <laughs>